KTWO, your local election headquarters. Good evening, everyone. On this election night, I'm Mike Tang. And I'm Sadie O. We are your local election headquarters and are bringing you the results of the 2018 midterm contested races. We begin tonight with one of the most watched races, not only in the state, but in the country. The U.S. Senate race in Indiana. Of course, the projected winner in this race is Republican businessman Mike Braun. He defeats incumbent Joe Donnelly. Here's a breakdown of the results tonight. And there you see Braun with 53% of the vote to Donnelly's 43%. Mike Braun gave his victory speech about an hour ago. And I want to thank all Hoosiers for giving me a resounding victory, putting your faith in me, and I will not let you down. I promise that. Again, Republican businessman Mike Braun wins the race for Indiana's U.S. Senate seat. Staying with the congressional races for now, here's the results for Indiana's U.S. Representative in the 8th District. Larry Bouchon, the projected winner with 65% of the vote. The 8th District includes all of our local Indiana counties. There was another major contest underway tonight, this time in Illinois. It was the race for governor, and Democrat J.B. Pritzker is the projected winner in that race, defeating current governor Bruce Rauner. Here's a breakdown of those results. Pritzker with 55% to Browner's 39%. There were quite a few state seats up for grabs here in the Hoosier State as well. We'll begin with the race for Indiana Secretary of State. Uh, you can see there Connie Lawson, projected winner, the Republican candidate with 58% of the vote. Turning to Indiana's auditor's race. Klutz is the winner there with 57% to Whitaker's 39%. Now to the race for Indiana State Treasurer Kelly Mitchell, projected winner with 60%. This next race has received a lot of local attention because of the many political ads that have aired. It's, of course, the hotly contested race for state senator in Indiana's 38th district. And there you see the incumbent Republican John Ford with 56% of the vote. Turning now to Indiana's House, where in District 42, Alan Morrison is in the lead with 61% of the vote. On well, most of the contests tonight, you'll see incumbents trying to hold on to their seats. Mm -hmm, that's right. But there's one state race where it's guaranteed that someone new will be in office, and Taylor Williams is here to explain. Taylor. Mike and Sadie, it was December of 2017 that current state representative Clyde Kersey announced his retirement. He served as Indiana's 43rd district in, 34, in the 34th district since 1996, but now someone new will take the office. Democratic Tanya Path is the apparent winner in this race with 59% of the vote, while Republican Eddie Felling has 41 percent. Tanya Path, who is Terre Haute's North teacher, spoke about her campaign tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, uh, I have had so much wonderful support and so many people have worked hard on my campaign and so many people have just, you know, I'll be walking somewhere and they'll be like, go Tanya. And just the incredible amount of support from not only my students, my former students, but um, my friends and family. So what I'd want people to know is just how um, how grateful I am and, and just so excited. Indiana's 43rd House District includes the city of Terre Haute and portions of Clay County. Mike and Sadie. All right, thank you so much, Taylor. Now let's continue our coverage with those state house races. First in Indiana's 44th District. Let's take a look at that. Baird is the projected winner there with 69% of the vote. In the race for state representative, District 45, Bruce Borders takes the projection with 65%. Next, let's look at the results from Indiana House District 46. Bob Heaton, the incumbent, the former ISU Sycamore, 67% of the vote in that race. Here's the results from the state representative, District 62, Jeff Ellington, the Republican candidate in the lead with 63%. Turning now to District 63. Lindauer is the winner, the Republican, 67% of the vote. Coming up, we'll bring you some of the contested local county races. You can also see them scrolling at the bottom of your screen. And, of course, be sure to check out your election, election, your local election headquarters on mywabashvalley.com. That's where you can see the results for all the contested races.